Hello and welcome back to my YouTube and Opera channel on LELB Society. In this session I'm going to teach you another unit. Let me see to make sure. Uh, week 23, day 1 uh, of uh, the journey of 1100 words you need to know. Alright, new words. Heterogeneous. Heterogeneous hetero means different the opposite of homo so homogeneous means uh, of the same ilk heterogeneous means of different ilk ilk means kind means dissimilar miscellaneous let's say so the exact opposite is homogeneous gamut means range scope s c o p e Perspicacious means acutely perce perceptive. A perceptive person is shrewd, as we have it here, means brilliant and uh, very skillful and uh, conditioned to understand what is happening. Circumspect. Uh, analogous. The, the noun form is analogy so pay attention to the to the difference in pronunciation analogous to means uh, comparable as we have it here similar and uh, so homogeneous okay and uh, maladjusted opposite of well adjusted poorly adjusted disturbed particularly about children you know young children or uh, the context from A to Z Z American Z British Alice Sloan a teacher of science or science teacher at a large metropolitan uh, high school metropolitan refers to metropolis a large city you know or large cities it's an adjective first paid little attention to the fact that his two biology classes were so disparate or homo or heterogeneous disparate means completely different or various okay in their performance so he was a biology teacher which is a branch of science uh, pay attention to the fact that his two biology classes were so disparate in their performance okay in most schools the classes are alphabetically heterogeneous means including uh, actually various letters from a to z with youngsters and young learners here students names running the gamut or range of adam to zelch you know from a to z but biology one to one refers to the class had only A's and B's I mean uh, the alphabets whereas on the other hand biology 1 to 8 had T's V's W's Y's and Z's Mr. Sloan the teacher a perspicacious teacher means shrewd and uh, let's say resourceful thoughtful pensive teacher began to perceive and notice differences between the two groups the two class classes while their reading scores and IQs were roughly analogous they were not actually analogous or barely analogous it was apparent it was clear that biology 1 to 8 including a variety of alphabets um, was replete with was full of with maladjusted students not easily uh, controlled or or unruly students while biology one to one just including students with uh, with the letters of a and b had the normal ones okay we should wait to see what will happen in the uh, next sessions so you can just subscribe to my YouTube channel 
and follow me on Operat and LLB Society in order to just have access to my uh, further teachings. Sample sentences. One, the Bureau of Child Guidance has been the salvation for some maladjusted children. Bureau means uh, an organization, an office. Child guidance has been the salvation. Here means remedy, help. And uh, for maladjusted children. Our algebra class is a heterogeneous one in which bright students are juxtaposed with slower ones. Algebra is another branch of science, is a heterogeneous one, means including a variety of different items here, students, one in which bright students, intelligent students are juxtaposed, means compared and contrasted with slower ones. We have highbrow for intelligent and lowbrow for, uh, let's say, <laughs> stupid students. Or stupid is not a polite word here, but I mean less intelligent students or slow students. Senator Thorpe was perspicacious enough to realize that this colorless charge would have little effect upon the voters. Senator uh, Thorpe was. Uh, let's say uh, considerate thoughtful enough to notice to realize that this colorless means infamous means uh, slanderous libeling defamatory defamatory something that defames or take a, takes away your fame or reputation uh, charge or sentence or conviction or let's say yeah a sentence or sentence is the best word i think would have little effect upon the voters it's clear although the lawyer acknowledged that the two cases were hardly analogous although even though the lawyer admitted that the two cases were not actually similar to each other just hardly analogous uh, he still felt that the lawyer still felt that he had a good precedent on his side that he had a good precedent precedent is an action or decision oriented toward the future so as a matter of fact uh, the cases were somehow influential the actress the f uh, feminine form of actor ran the gamut of emotions in a poignant pay attention to the pronunciation poignant we don't have gay sound here poignant performance that thrilled the audience the actress ran or just showed or revealed or let out a spectrum of different emotions in a sad, touching, moving performance that thrilled or excited the audience. And the idiom, the distaff side. It refers to women, ladies. Distaff was a staff used in sp spinning the wool, W-O-O-L. Stick, uh, staff here is a stick or pile that is used to, particularly in the past, to spin the wool, okay? And the whole concept, I mean, the staff, the distaff side refers to women. The men had brandy, it's an alcoholic, a strong alcoholic drink, on the porch, an open area in front of your uh, house, course not our house because we live in apartments most of the time but anyway in the past while the test of side it means women gathered to gossip in the kitchen that is the difference between 
Yeah, according to this sentence, as a matter of fact, I'm not here to make any judgment. So men were having brandy or a kind of drink on the porch while while here shows contrast and also at the same time actually the ladies were gossiping and uh, backbiting all right thank you very much for your attention i hope you enjoyed this session please do not forget to subscribe to um, my youtube channel and also follow me on operat thank you and Goodbye.